All right. Well, then talk to me about the the fifty strategy because it's something that I could I, I only could really swim the fifty. I didn't have the, uh, the the second fifty like you did. But but talk to me about your fifty strategy because I think there are certain things that you can do that are mistakes in the fifty. I mean, certainly like trying too hard, pulling the water too hard, over spinning, over rating uh, are mistakes that you can make. <clears throat> what was the pop off strategy for a fast fifty? Um, the you know there are if you let's say um, break the 50 into a few segments you know the first segment would be about start what about 15 meters mm -hmm. they're ideally 15 meters underwater and then after that when you're surfacing you know the first really three maybe four strokes should not be very tough you know not as, as you mentioned not to break the water so you know you don't you don't break that feeling of uh, of water you mm -hmm. know on your hands and then after that, basically, that speed between 50 and the 25, this is very, very important because, you know, this is, the, the, this is your ability to pick up the speed from the start and bring it, you know, into the motion, you know. Um, it's, um, kinetic, um, keep, you know, keep forgetting Australian words, but, <clears throat> you know, the one, one type of energy you have to convert into another one, you know, into kinetic energy though, so that it brings you, really brings you, takes you forward. And, um, and uh, what else? You know, and then the second, uh, and then the second uh, um, portion of that 50 would be between 25 and 35 meters. This is the key, uh, element of the distance, you know, if you drop that speed, you know, there, forget about the finish, you lost. So in training, it's extremely important to, to uh, learn to train that, that distance, you know, that 10 meter, uh, you know, gap, not the gap, the, 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 the left, uh, so that you, you, you'll be able to maintain well, let's hope to maintain the speed, you know, not drop too much because, you know, speed, speed drops uh, quite dramatically towards the end of the 50 from, from the start. Mm -hmm. So if you learn not to drop that speed, you know, that distance, you know, during those 10 meters, then you're quite sweet, you know, when you enter in the last 15 meters, which is your finishing, uh, finishing strike. Did you have a strategy to, to not breathe or were you, were you always trying to work a breath in? I, you know, my uh, strategy was to take one at about 33 to 35 meters because I've, I've tried a few things and, you know, it's not worth it, really. I found out that it's not worth uh, to uh, take it uh, all the way without breathing. Yeah, yeah. We, we raced each other uh, next to each other at the Sydney Olympics in the semifinal. When I was ahead of you at the 35 meter mark, what, what did you think? Nothing, you know, I knew, <laughs> I knew, I knew what I had to do. 